Hi, beautiful souls. Welcome to the weekly tarot reading for the collective. This is the reading for the week of September 4th through September 10th. Thank you guys so much for being here. I'm Mary. I am the creatrix of the spiritual sense. I have been doing these weekly readings for um, a few weeks now, and the messages can resonate now, or it can resonate weeks or even months from now. So take what resonates and leave anything else behind that doesn't resonate with you. Always listen to your own intuition, to your own gut instinct. So this is kind of a really exciting um, spread right here. I'm so excited to get into this. Um, of course, there is always, you know, some challenges and obstacles. So this is kind of a very... Uh, It's connecting to people who have been going through a lot of hard times. So I'm going to go ahead and, and begin. So the first card that came out of the archetype deck is, I'm not sure if I'm going to say it right. It's Thanatos. Thanatos card. It is like the death. It is like the bridge. You know, when somebody is um, out there, I feel like somebody out there um, who's been working with in the hospices or hospitals or has seen a lot of death in their life. Um, they have gone through, they have seen death so much in their life. And it doesn't have to be a physical death of another. It can be also um, loss of self. Um, somebody out there may have, you know, you've gone through multiple transformations, releasing the old things because you're on the spiritual awakening journey. Or you can be somebody that's worked in a hospice or working there and death has really taught you what really matters in life. When you are, and these people that are able to be in the, in the trans, be there for somebody that's transitioning, that is such an angel on earth. I feel like you are so beautiful. You are so strong to be able to be there and witness when somebody's passing away and you're there for the loved ones. That is such important work. So this just goes out of thank you if this is connecting with somebody out there that's doing this work. Now I'm going to transition to people that are going through grief themselves, loss of cells. It's very positive. So this has taught you what truly matters in life. This has taught you to ground yourself, to, to let things that don't matter go to forgive easily and to move on pretty fast. So um, you may have been lonely in the past. This loneliness card is coming up, but even that has taught you that, you know, you are never alone because of this, of these people or this grief that you've gone through has taught you that everything comes back around in another form. Energy never dies. It just transforms and returns in a different form memories are always going to be there so you're never really alone um you like actually some of you out there might actually like spending time alone to uh connect to the you know to the other side to connect yourself to you know contemplate life and death and what really life is all about and how death can really teach you a lot of stuff um a lot of thing and a lot of grounding and and just perspective on life. I think that people that have gone through a lot of death in their life um, see life in such a different way. And then sometimes you see this, you see life people struggling and stressing over little things and getting addicted. And just you see people passing away, it just really shock. It just really makes you so disappointed and makes you so sad for them because they haven't discovered the beauty of life because death can teach you what the beauty of life really is um and create your own happiness a dolphin spirit also is coming up past few days when i went um to the river here where i live i've seen dolphins and now dolphins are coming up again um it's just showing that finding like happiness in the moment like laughter and connecting with in relationships with people that you love. Um, I'm attracted to those people who serve my higher good. So collect, connecting with a few people that, you know, connect with you and creating happiness. I'm aware that being happy means that I'm on the right path. So if you're struggling, if you're on the right path in your life towards your life purpose, know that happiness 
is the sign it's the key that you are on the right path that is all that matters don't look at societies and what society is telling you as what your next step is know that when you are in alignment i'm just this is incredible the alignment card came up when you're in alignment the next right step will be presented to you from universe you can't think through this path you can't think your way through it you move your way through it listening to your own inner guidance answering the call from the life that comes at you through people uh through universe through signs through symbols and following your joy following your happiness and that is a sign that you're on the right path and this alignment card number 18 if that may resonate with somebody oh my god i just noticed again dolphins two dolphins here um some of you out there may be on a twin flame journey and you are literally in union in the astral with them and you are probably uh kind of disconnecting from that and just calling it your own spiritual awakening calling it what it is not getting too sucked up into the whole romance thing but really noticing that you know this person is here to awaken your own spiritual sense your own path and where you're headed um you are at a point of culmination another um temperance card is coming up you are literally creating your future with every little thing that you're doing right now um some of you may be feeling the excitement that you are really on your path by feeling like this jolts of like lightning or excitement within you um in the little moments when you're creating something for yourself for your business or for your hobby or in your work or with your family you feel aligned and you feel just so in love with life and that's great because this temperance card is showing somebody that is in the process of creation creating uh blending things mixing things together kind of like you know in your own lab you're in your own laboratory creating your future right now and something big and beautiful is going to happen for you between now and october um the time of the solar eclipse again the timing card is coming up it can be several weeks or months later after that um choosing your path you are also feeling that all and everything is possible like i said in the in, in the beginning the grief the death card may have taught you that you had to let go of a belief an old belief has died that you had that you had to do go the certain path and then you realize wow my whole life i thought i'm going to do this but now universe is telling me to go this way and universe is telling me anything is possible so you're releasing these old beliefs and you're coming back to your inner child you're feeling like a little kid within you is awakened you feel like a teenager or like a a little inner happy child who is going back and thinking what did i like to do when i was a kid you know what is it art was it sports was it you know hanging out with my friends like what is it that i like to do is there a way that i can do more of that now to bring me bring me to joy and when you're doing this miracles occur expect the wondrous to emerge because again here we are well aladdin and the lamp you are stirring up some good things when you're focused on uh, on being happy in the moment and what it is that you're desiring being aligned as you have it now is it's here for you what you're bringing forth for the world you are already doing it it's culminating like it's in this it's in this incubation period you're blending you're mixing you're in your own lab right now so don't force things to happen too fast just listen to how you feel as you're following your path and your guidance that you're on the right path is happiness do you feel joy and happiness while you're doing it well then you're on the path you don't have to worry about anything <clears throat> again crossing bridges it's time for healing connecting mending and releasing um this past full moon you may have felt that you were crossing over a bridge you may have felt like you had to leave something behind um relationships people um jobs um old ways of beliefs and attitudes um that you had to let go of maybe it was a negative belief or attitude that you had about you know something that you cannot do but now you figure out that you can do this thing um and you had to leave it behind so you're crossing this bridge you're crossing the bridge from the old into the new you're healing you're in the process of healing you took the time to connect to your inner self to your higher self 
and meditate and you are releasing all that doesn't serve you for this full past full moon you have, may have been doing that at that time um so you're crossing this bridge the bridges are also something that is here that's showing um throughout this deck in addition to the the, the death and um the dolphins just like the dolphins are here what are they here to teach us you know they come kind of in pairs and they, they travel in packs together they help each other out um you know so and the relationships again i'm attracted to those people who serve my higher good you are when you're um doing what you love you're attracting your soul tribe so if you have transitioned from an old kind of way of life or old uh, way of being um you may have left some relationship behind because of this Thanatos, you may have lost um, people and now you're kind of attracting a new tribe to you. Um, you're also a beacon for others because you've been through so much death in your life and other people see you as such a rock, as their anchor um, for what's possible. So never underestimate what you're here to do um and what you're already doing is helping a lot of people around you all the people that that watch you every day um do what you do and be there for the people in your life or even those that are not there in your life but they watch you trust me they're watching you and they're seeing what a light you are in your community um so anything's possible and miracles are occurring between now and this laboratory or creation this incubation time think of it as your own little universe where you're mixing and matching and seeing what works seeing what doesn't work in this little sphere of you and what you're here to do what doesn't work you're letting it go you're releasing it and you're moving much faster between you know the grieving period of letting something go and getting in alignment what you want and being in the present moment healing yourself meditating um journaling whatever it may be you know learning how to cultivate inner self-love and setting time to be alone and then moving forward and going and doing things that you want to do being with people so this process of you where you're building this new life um the grieving process through the you know life um to the death period the grieving and the the work and movement is going faster and faster for you because you've just been through so much that you need to stop and acknowledge that have do have set some time you know when you're grieving of um something have time for yourself to actually see and feel because sometimes you can get into the cycle of moving so fast because life really is moving doesn't it feel like life is moving so much faster now than before like feels like everything is happening all at once and you're just excited but also you're anxious and overwhelmed anxiety is high um so make sure that you do listen to yourself and while you're crossing these bridges to set time to heal to connect to mend the bonds that need to be mended and to release what needs to be released it's extremely powerful time so now it's september so october time mid-october and could be even weeks or months later that all of this is happening this new path is culminating for you um everything is getting clear the dust is settling this period of of a thanatos of the death and the loss and the grieving um has taught you a lot and you know that it's kind of not something that you leave behind like you know that death is always going to be there there's always going to be death you know in our lives people are going to leave and especially as you get older you're going to notice that you know and sometimes death happens unexpectedly unfortunately and that's extremely hard nothing shocks you like sudden death in life so if you guys are going somebody out there is going through that um there is a light at the end of the tunnel and you just have to have listened to your inner heart and how it needs to heal. I know for me, when I was going through the hardest uh, grieving period of my life, I literally needed time alone and I'm a pretty, I'm a Libra, I'm a pretty social person, but I'm cancer rising. So I like shut down. I had to spend time alone. So I would take like every Sunday to be alone, um, to read about, um, life and death books i read like 30 books first year when i lost my mom and 
it gave me so much peace, you know, just reading those books about, you know, the death and what comes after. It made me so connected. So I would read different books. Um, just take that day, like I would take Sunday and that would be my day where I would literally disconnect from everybody and everything and write my journal, create art, um, write poetry or read um, books, um, drink my tea. So create little rituals and things like that. Because otherwise you can get distracted and you can think that you're fine, but you're really not because you're, you're kind of like suppressing it and you feel something in your chest. You can tell if you have some grief stuck it because in your chest, it feels heavy. Like you need to like let go. You need to release and cry. So that's all I'll say. Those are just something that I, I um, recommend um, if somebody out there is going through a grieving process. Um, but the overall, the theme is definitely alignment. You're aligning what you're here to do because you're well, how you know you're aligning. You're choosing your decision. You're making choices and decisions based on love and not fear. Because one thing that death does teach you is not to fear death. Once you go through it so much, it doesn't fear. It doesn't really scare you as much anymore. It's the space in between of life and death and what you're here to do with it and it's to enjoy it to find little moments like these beautiful dolphins coming through with two different cards teaching us to embrace the moments with the loved ones because you never know when it might be the last time that we have them here with us um so that is the greatest teacher and I feel like the past few weeks, that's what's been coming up. Like the first, it was Dark Night of the Soul, and now the death, Thanatos, and grieving and loss. Um, but it's actually a great teacher. It's, I don't see it as a negative thing. I think that everybody needs to realize that. Um, so it's a beautiful, beautiful next few months. So the time, the time that you're here, and when you're here, listening to your inner guidance that is how you can slow down time by turning off the distractions and appreciating the little moments that you have here being with friends that you appreciate and family members that you appreciate and spending time with them and and, and knowing that when you're doing what you love the little moments of joy then you know you're on the right path you're living in alignment with your truth um so that is the reading for this week. I thank you guys so much for being here. Please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel and also follow me on TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook. Thank you guys so much for being here and I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful week. Thank you.